so many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No. Do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. And so here's what I say to you. There are gonna be times that you're gonna be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Fight your way through this battle. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. Fight your way through it. Fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got this far. If you was gonna quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know, after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles and you were made just for a time like this. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're gonna not concern yourself with the naysayers, that you're not gonna concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened, but you're gonna make the commitment to do what you've gotta do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you and you decide to play it safe and 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. If you are an underdog, you got to believe against all odds. You got to learn to close your ears to everybody. You got to learn to close your ears to everything. You got to learn to block out the distractions and you got to learn to get focused, all right? Be very intentional, very deliberate, very strategic. You are very deliberate about what time you wake up. You're very deliberate about what time you go to bed. You're very deliberate about what you eat, what you don't do. You're very deliberate about the people you bring in your life. You are very, very focused, intentional, and deliberate. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture.